Hi, I'm Garvin. Welcome to our Telehealth video series. In this video, I will give a brief overview of what you need to know about mesenteric paniculitis. In particular, I'll recover what it is, how you treat it, and how you can more successfully live with mesenteric paniculitis. So we start with what is it? Mesenteric paniculitis is a rare disease that affects the part of the mesentery that contains fat cells. The mesentery is a continuous fold of tissue in your abdomen. The mesentery is important because it supports your intestines and attaches them to the abdominal wall of your body. The specific cause of mesenteric paniculitis isn't known, but may be related to autoimmune disease, abdominal surgery, injury to your abdomen, bacterial infection, or vascular problems. It causes chronic inflammation that damages and destroys fatty tissue in the mesentery. Over time, this can lead to scarring on the mesentery. So the stages of the condition. So mesenteric lipodystrophy is the first stage. A type of immune system cell replaces fat tissue in the mesentery. And mesenteric paniculitis is the second stage. Additional types of immune system cells infiltrate the mesentery and a lot of inflammation occurs during this stage. And next, retractile mesenteritis is the third stage. It's when the inflammation is accompanied by scar tissue formation in the mesentery. So mesenteric paniculitis typically isn't life-threatening. It may go away on its own or it could develop into a severe disease. But while the inflammation is there, it can cause pain and other symptoms that interfere with your life. Your doctor can give you medicine to manage this inflammation and control symptoms. So what are the symptoms? Symptoms vary from person to person. The clinical course may vary from no symptoms to severe and aggressive disease. If there's enough inflammation in the mesentery, the swelling can put pressure on organs near your intestines. This pressure can cause abdominal pain. Other common symptoms include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, feeling full quickly after you eat, loss of appetite, weight loss, bloating, lump in your abdomen, fatigue and fever. Symptoms can last for a few weeks or months and then go away. Although the exact cause isn't known, doctors think mesenteric paniculitis is possibly a type of autoimmune disease. Normally, your immune system fights off bacteria, viruses and other germs that can make you sick. In an autoimmune disease, your immune system mistakenly attacks your own body's own tissue. In this case, it attacks the mesentery. The attack produces the inflammation that causes symptoms. So how is it diagnosed? Mesenteric paniculitis is often misdiagnosed because it's so rare. Sometimes doctors discover the disease incidentally when they do a CT scan or look for the cause of abdominal pain. This test can detect any signs of thickening or scarring in your mesentery. To make a diagnosis, your doctor may also have you undergo one or more blood tests to look for markers of inflammation in your body. This includes checking your urethrocyte sedimentation rate and C-reactive protein level. So next is how do you treat it? People with mesenteric paniculitis may not need treatment. Your doctor will monitor your symptoms and may do repeat CT scans to see if the inflammation is getting worse. It's possible for mesenteric paniculitis will go away on its own within a few weeks or months. If your symptoms bother you or they cause complications, your doctor will give you medicine to bring down inflammation in your body. Many of the drugs used to treat this condition work by suppressing the overactive immune system response. Corticosteroid drugs are often used to treat mesenteric paniculitis. Other medicines that can be used would be Imuran, Colgouche, Remicade and Revia at a low dose. And finally, how do you live with it? The goals of treatment for mesenteric paniculitis are reduction of mesenteric inflammation, and the control of symptoms of the disease. Generally, individuals with no symptoms are not treated, but are regularly monitored to see whether the disorder progresses on abdominal imaging. So it's a watch and wait approach. A decision regarding biopsy is made during this time. In most patients, the disease remains asymptomatic. The mesenteric mass is generally stable or even regresses on its own. 
for patients with symptoms related to chronic mesenteric inflammation, anti-inflammatory agents, especially corticosteroids, are the initial treatment of choice. Additional anti-inflammatory drugs have been used to treat mesenteric paniculitis, include colchine, azotioprine, cyclophosphamide and infliximab. So a prospective clinical trial has demonstrated that the drug thalidomide improves symptoms and reduces blood levels of ESR and CRP in patients with mesenteric pediculitis. No dose or low dose naltroxone is also a promising new therapy for mesenteric pediculitis. Low dose naltroxine appears to work by modulating immune system and by increasing blood levels of encalophins and endorphins. Finally, there are numerous products available at Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas to assist in managing mesenteric paniculitis more effectively on a day-to-day -day basis. To start, we have numerous products to get you up and running on a mild exercise program. So exercise ball and floor mats and various weights. We also have various supplements and products which you can purchase from us without a prescription such as multivitamins, omega-3 fish oils, probiotics. We also have light boxes to promote relaxation, blood pressure monitors and blood sugar monitors to monitor your health. So that brings this video to an end. Customers of Lynch's Pharmacy can avail of a brand new offering, a telehealth clinic. You can book a 30-minute clinic with us and we help to increase your understanding of your illness. During a telehealth clinic, Together, we create a cohesive management plan which enables you to take a more active role in managing your illness with confidence. We provide you with the tools you need to live a healthy life. Call into Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas and Cork or ring us on 021 436 6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.